Hello everyone, and happy Halloween. Um, I'm actually not recording this on Halloween, but uh, I thought it'd be a cool idea to unbox this on Halloween. This is the Blu-ray set for the Universal Classic Monsters. There are 30 movies in here, from 1931 to 1956, and this was on sale on Amazon.com for 70 bucks. And normally this thing is like $150 or something like that. And um, I believe they had a sale like that a couple months ago on this set but i was like hesitating i'm like ah oh, man i don't know if i really want to spend the money on that and blah 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 but you know what last week i think it was or two weeks ago this was on sale yet again just in time for halloween and i said you know what this would make for a great video and plus i've never seen like most of these movies i've seen the invisible man i've seen parts of dracula and frankenstein and that's it like i've never like seen all these movies and um these aren't every single, obviously, Universal monster movie they've ever made, but these are, like, the main ones, obviously. Like, you get the Abbott and Costello ones, the Mummy ones, the Frankenstein ones, and I love how they're all individually packaged like this. Um, very, very cool. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'm not recording this on Halloween, mainly because I'm not going to be able to do anything on Halloween. I have to work all day, and then I have a class at nighttime, which is, like, a three-hour class. Um... So I'm not even going to be able to go get my $3 burrito at Chipotle like I normally do. <laughs> um, I don't even know if they're still doing that sale. Did they, did, they've been doing it for the past couple of years. So I don't know if they... I didn't see any announcement. But um, sorry, guys. No Chipotle video this year. I know I did two in a row, but uh, <laughs> sorry. I would if I could, trust me. But uh, anyways, um, let's get this open. And obviously, no digital copy. So don't expect a giveaway or anything like that. But, you know, this would make for a great Halloween video. And um, if I did this correctly, you should be seeing this in black and white. But, um, yeah, let's open it up and take a look. Um, and if you guys are probably mad, oh, why didn't you film this in color? Well, I am filming it in color, but, you know, it's cool to make it black and white. I don't know. Um, this sort of isn't even, like, in, like, there's some color here. Like, there's some green right here. Some, like, bronze on Dracula. Some, like, gold, yellow. But, like, this whole thing is, like, mostly themed to be, like, black and white. Like, these pictures here are black and white, obviously. Um, this text is gold. This is, like, bronze sort of right here. Um, this is, like, gold. But, yeah, who, if you want to know what the colors look like, just look up pictures. <laughs> or watch a different video. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make this video fun. All right, so there's the plastic off of there. And, uh, by the way, I know these movies are super old and there's been tons of changes and edits to them. Um, if anybody knows, are these, like, the proper versions to watch? Like, you know, there's Star Wars special editions and whatnot. There's an E.T. They famously put walkie-talkies instead of guns in the officer's hands in E.T. Um, has anything like that happened to these movies? Like, are these the right versions to watch? You know what I mean? Um, if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Um, hours of bonus features. So that's very cool. The Spanish version of Dracula, I hear, is better than Dracula. Um, minus the fact there's no Bela Lugosi, obviously, in that one. But, um, yeah, I know a lot about these movies, mainly because of, uh, Cinemassacre. You know, the angry video game nerd. He is a horror movie fanatic. And I've watched his videos for, like, ten years. Um, and I've learned all kinds of stuff just from his reviews. And, uh, yeah, so... Anyways, let's go through these. Um, obviously, most of these contain multiple movies. I think Phantom of the Opera is just one movie. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Invisible Man, Wolfman, Mummy, Frankenstein, and Dracula. So let's... And then there's a special book here, actually, which I'll go to last. So, all right, let's get this out. Very, very cool. All right, so here's Dracula. Got Bela Lugosi on the front. All six films from the original Legacy, 1931 to 1948. And then here's the back. And I think you can buy these individually, actually. So if you don't want to buy the whole set for whatever reason. Bonus features right there. All right. I'm not sure how many discs there are. Maybe they can fit a couple movies on each disc. So the interior artwork is just the credits. And then a little description of the plot, actually. So here's Dracula. Very cool. Dracula's daughter, son of Dracula... The House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula. Oh, so it looks like they're throwing in different... Okay, I see what they're doing. All right. Ab and Costello meet Frankenstein. So they're sort of throwing in the Ab and Costello ones with these, it looks like. And also House of whatever. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable on these movies myself. So... 
but still very cool clear blu-ray case very nice artwork okay very cool all right so that's the dracula one and then frankenstein here right there 1931 to 1948 eight films here's the back I'll pause and read any of that boo a short film Four commentaries, okay. Of course, Boris Karloff played uh, Frankenstein's monster and the mummy. At least in the first mummy movie. Uh, uh, mummy movie. I heard all the mummy other ones don't relate to each other or something like that. Um, anyways, there's Frankenstein. The Bride of Frankenstein, who is uh, an icon in her own right. Uh, Son of Frankenstein. The Ghost of Frankenstein. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. The House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula. Wasn't that in this one? Are there, like, movies that repeat in this? Or did I get, like, double discs for some reason? Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I think I just saw that, didn't I? Hold on a minute. I just want to make sure I don't have uh, repeating discs, you know. That happens sometimes in these big sets. Um, hold on one second. Open up Dracula. Okay. So it looks like there are repeats in this. Hmm. I think that's because when you buy these sets separately, you know what I mean? They're supposed to come with those movies in them, so sometimes they repeat. But why is the uh, Abbott and Costello Frankenstein one inside the Dracula set? That is... Is Dracula in that movie? I don't... Like I said, I don't even know. Well, look, it's listed on the back here. Hmm. Like, if you compare these two. So, you get some movies that repeat. Okay, that's interesting. As long as I get all 30 individual movies, I don't care. Um, <laughs> but anyways, let's take The Mummy out next. There's Boris Karloff. 1932 to 1955, six films. And then here's the list. Abigail can still meet The Mummy. And in all those mummy, Mummy's Hand, Mummy's Tomb, Mummy's Curse, I heard none of those are related to each other. But I could be wrong. So you get a picture from each movie, I'm assuming. Yeah, right there. I, I'm very much looking forward to seeing the Abbott and Costello ones because those guys are funny, obviously. Um, yeah, but uh, there's the mummy. The original. And I'm a fan of the Brendan Fraser mummy movies. The second one's very cheesy, but I have nostalgia for it. Uh, the Mummy's Hand, Mummy's Tomb, Mummy's Ghost, Mummy's Curse. And then we get... Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. I really should be counting these discs, by the way. So that's two and four, right? Two and four. Yeah, so that's four. Okay, four discs. All right. Next, we have The Wolfman. 1935 to 1948. Seven films. Very cool. Here's the back. All right. Again, House of Frankenstein. I guess Wolfman's in that movie. He must be. Interesting. So that's like three times you've seen that one, I think, right? All right. Oh, no interior. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this set is interesting. For some reason, there's no interior uh, credits or anything. So there's the Wolfman. No crazy disc art, obviously, with Universal. But it's a nice black disc with silver text. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. House of Frankenstein. House of Dracula. Um, Abigail meet Frankenstein. Werewolf of London. She Wolf of London. And uh, obviously, an American werewolf in London. Iconic movie, but not included in this. Obviously, it's not like a super old movie. Um, is that Universal? I don't even know. But uh, Invisible Man. Now, I've seen the first one. Very good movie. And I think the sequels are somewhat related, but not really. So we get six films, 1933 to 1951, right there. There's the list, and here's the back. Pause and read any of that if you want. There we go. <laughs> All right, so The Invisible Man, right there. The Invisible Man Returns, The Invisible Woman, Invisible Agent, The Invisible Man's Revenge. Ab and Costello meet The Invisible Man. All right, very cool. Next one is Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now, this one only has three movies. 1954 to 56. Right there. Very iconic. No Blu-ray logo. This is weird. <laughs> Did I get, like, a uh, 
uh, what do you call it? Um, oh my god, I can't think of the word right now. Like a set that's uh, messed up. Um, Revenge of the Creature, by the way, Clint Eastwood's first movie. That's another reason why I wanted this, actually, because I'm a huge Clint Eastwood fan. I've never seen that. I think he plays like a scientist or something. Um, anyways, let's open this up. At least we get the interior artwork. Or if you can call it artwork. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Revenge of the Creature. The Creature Walks Among Us. And behind this disc is nothing, I assume. Yeah. Okay. This is a... Uh, <laughs> very, very strange. Alright, next is Phantom of the Opera. Again, no... I think it's because these two aren't as big. Like, the other ones have the Blu-ray logo, and they're bigger. So maybe it's because these are smaller. I'm not sure. And then this is only one movie, of course. Lon Chaney, Fan of the Opera, 1943. Classic movie, of course. Oh, is this movie in color? These pictures are in color, guys. Hmm. Anyways, uh, you want to pause and read any of that? Right there. Open it up. Phantom of the Opera. Very, very cool. Um, was I right in saying Lon Chaney, right? Am I thinking of something else? Is this a different fan of the opera? Hold on a minute. Since this is in color... Oh, I don't think this is the actual... Uh, you know what? The original fan of the opera with Lon Chaney, the famous one, I think that's like a movie that's uh, public domain, maybe? And they didn't include it in this set because they wanted to just put Universal movies in this set. So this actually isn't the Lon Chaney one I'm thinking of. Um, interesting. <laughs> I don't know what people think of this one. This is a different version. But uh, anyways, it's crazy to think there's like a million versions of, of these characters. All right, so the original House of Horror. Um, Universal and a monster legacy. So we got all eight of the iconic monsters here. And then the back, actually. Oh, that's cool. The old Universal logo thing. All right. So here's the... Oh, I love that picture. That's cool. And then we got, like, a table of contents here. Yeah, look. Lon Chaney Jr. Wasn't Lon Chaney Sr. the original one, though? Maybe his son is actually in this one. Hmm. I bet people are, like, ripping their hair out right now because I'm so... <laughs> I don't know anything I'm talking about. All right. Family Opera 1925, right? That's the one I'm thinking of right there. Does it say Lon Chaney in here somewhere? But anyways, um, if you want to pause and read any of this. Yeah, I see his name up there, Chaney. Hunchback of Notre Dame. So they're referencing other movies in here that aren't included. Cool poster. Very cool. How many pages is this? <laughs> Dracula. I'm not going to take too long, actually. He's got a little bit of movie trivia also. That's cool. Bill Lugosi, of course, the iconic Dracula everyone references. Christopher Lee also played Dracula in the Hammer movies, and Count Dooku was inspired by that because he's called Count. <laughs> Mummy. Very cool. Jack Pierce, and that's a makeup artist, I believe, right? Visible Man right there. Bride of Frankenstein. I heard she's not even in the movie that long. She's only at the end or something. Inspiration for Bride of Chucky, of course, which was also made by Universal. Lon Chaney Jr. Oh, he was Wolfman. There you go. I knew he was somebody. Uh, like, Lon Chaney Sr. was the original fan in the opera. And then this one, who's fan in the opera in this one? I don't know. I'm a moron. <laughs> um, very cool, though. I love the posters and stuff. Claude Rains. I believe he played Invisible Man. Yeah, there you go. Fan the Opera. Creature from the Black Lagoon. More posters. 3D. <laughs> I wonder if Revenge of the Creature has the Clint Eastwood trivia. Let me see real quick. Hmm... No, I don't see that. But still, very cool. And then the very last thing in here. Got some years with the uh, the titles and the posters on the side there. So, very cool. Universal. All right, so that's it for the set. Uh, definitely worth the 70 bucks, I would say, for 30 movies, you know. 
Um, I assume these movies aren't that long, so it should be easy to get through a lot of these. And yes, I will try to watch all these movies um, when I have the time. But uh, Universal Classic Monsters, complete 30 film collection. Here's one more shot of the side. Um, that's what it's going to look like on my shelf, so figured I'd show that off. Got all eight of the main monsters. But um, that's about it, guys. So let me know what you think of the set, if you own it. Um, and did you guys get it on sale like I did? So thanks for watching, and happy Halloween. And stay tuned tomorrow. I will be reviewing terminator dark fate and i will have a ranking of the terminator movies and yeah so thanks for watching bye bye